Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. This is Enigma and you're watching Enigma Inc. So let's do Scorpio for the last part of this month of June. Let's see bonus reads. What are the messages for Scorpio? We've done with the Capricorn. We're moving on towards Scorpio. This is my sign as well. I'm Sun and Scorpio. And let us see what are the messages. This is going to be as usual a general reading. Take what resonates, leave what does not. For closer readings and more accuracy, I'm available on WhatsApp or Instagram or uh, <clears throat> email me details are given below also for my vision board workshop which is going to be on june 20 on whatsapp if you're interested you can join that day is sunday so you can uh come okay join in and where i'm going to teach you the importance of visualization and how you can use visualization to manifest big dreams like visualization is a very powerful technique to manifest big dreams so if you're interested in learning that we are offering a very economical price which is uh, 2500 for indians 2500 INR and 44 usd for international students so interested people can join in and you can ask your queries anytime so we're open to all of that and if you want to enroll you can whatsapp us email us or instagram me for the same okay so also follow me on instagram for more such videos in short pick a cards and daily horoscopes june july horoscopes manifestation tips guidance spells some short spells and a lot of updates available on my instagram some switch words also for your healing so a lot of thing is there interested people can follow me on instagram subscribe to my youtube channel for more such videos Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Signs, and Scorpio. Let's see what are the messages for my Scorpions. On last shuffle, let's see what, what is coming up. <clears throat> you did the right thing by leaving a situation that was not giving you anything but peanuts. Okay. So, you were being treated by, uh, like a doormat or someone who took you for granted. This person left you. Okay, or you left this person and you left a strong mark over someone. So justice has been served. Whatever you were looking for is coming back to you. And I feel like you were the one who was making more efforts and now this is the other way around. Your person is the one that is coming towards you and ready to make efforts because you've left a very, very strong mark on this person. In general, also, you're doing something great and you're leaving a good mark on people around you and you're helping people and you're giving justice to the people people are loving it you know accepting you the way you are and also see like this is more so a love oriented message your person feels you are an equal or someone who is respected they respect you they uh, they value you you are a person of big heart and you're the person they value a lot and i see like you're very much in your self-love energy you're embracing a lot of things in your um knowledge and you're ready to receive rather than being too giving you've now started receiving things and i feel like you're very much in an early energy very controlled very um meditated calm energy you know very feminine energy so i feel like you're a person who can give a lot of love that is what you're exuding right now so you're in self-love energy and you're a giving energy as well but i feel like you're more so very alert aware of your needs of your um you know what you want you have clarity about that and i feel like someone is regretting losing you libra gemini aquarius scorpio Pisces, cancer they have a lot of cups here like they mess things up with you or they have a lot of options but they love the one that they are missing the most so you're that person who they miss or they keep a watch on or they feel like they regret losing someone regrets losing you like that I do see like this person is not giving up. There is communication happening with the six over here. Yes, def definitely. This is someone from the past who wants to come back. I do see this person's energy very strongly coming over. Someone, this person is, uh, this is not done yet. Yeah, they are going to reach out to you with a the communication. They want to talk to you and they will offer you and you will be the one on the receiving end. Okay. Virgo Taurus Capricorn, there's going to be a very stable and solid communication. This person is going to not rush things like before. They're going to be very stable with you. They will expect something more to this connection. However, 
right now your person is feeling very stuck they're not able to make a move towards you because they're keeping patience they want to get hints or they're uh, looking for some hints to be clear about what you want i feel like your person is keeping a close watch on you but is uh, not making taking any action like they are in two minds right now and they're also keeping patience like they're wondering what is the right time to reach out to you could be a sagittarius let's see why they're not making a move yet why your person is not making a move <clears throat> they don't want to lose their freedom your person is a uh, die hard freedom lover and i feel like this will be a big thing and they also feel like this would be a big risk talking to you or they would have to let down their ego or let down their guard which is very important to them okay to reach out to you so they don't want to take that leap of faith they're very scared they're also very scared of commitment and they're also scared of losing freedom this would be a pisces as well it's a big decision they've never done it for anybody else All right, definitely they're going to reach out to you no matter what and I feel like this is going to happen in like one day, one week like that. Definitely there's going to be a major communication. This person is going to give you a lot of information about their feelings, about what they want with you, about a lot of things and you will be like surprised. You'll be like, "Wow, this person's completely changed." This could be a friend that that's interested in you or they may reach out to you through a friends of friends. Okay, this person wants something more to this maybe they want marriage they want kids with you so i do see like they feel like the happiness that can come from is you they cannot find any kind of happiness or emotional fulfillment elsewhere they feel like you're the one that can give them that now they've realized it so i do see a commitment offer coming in okay very soon they're going to run towards you this is going to happen like real soon chariot yes this person is not waiting they're coming soon this will be a cancer but i would like you to please take it very very slow be very guarded because this can also turn into some kind of a competition like who is uh, whose opinion is right so maybe they're going to stick to their opinion and you're going to stick to yours so you guys can have a kind of a you know a struggle opening up with each other so there will be a struggle for uh start where you both will try to defend your egos but in the end i feel this person will be disappointed because they are the one who needs to work on this your person re is really not very mature or is not very awakened to understand the deeper emotion or to understand or to step into the other person's foot and realize what the other person is wondering or what they are going through so again they will end up feeling rejected okay but however this can be turned around you you guys can adjust and try to you know fix things up there is a chance a very high chance that you will try to fix things up for them and they will be happy in the end i see that they see you as a very very cheerful chirpy happy go lucky person they want to be around they feel like you're very abundant you're happy you're always looking for something new in life you're not settling down for anything less so they feel like they get some kind of inspiration from you and they feel admired i feel like they not admired like they admire you as a person who you are so i feel like with the white over here you're a person of peace you're a peace lover and this is what they love like even if they start struggling or even if there is a uh, you know fit between you guys and this person gets easily ang angry but they see that you're always calm you're always you know like opposites attract so they see you as someone who can calm them down you know like that they are wondering this could be an aries person or someone who has a very bossy attitude but at the same time this person is very caring and they will be ready to give fatherly motherly love whatever it is but this person always wants to be high on ego and this person always wants to have their upper hand if whoever is a male over here wants an upper hand here so there's some kind of those adjustments maybe a female needs to do but at the same time they will also make adjustments i do see this person wants to give you a lot of help protection you know care if you give them a chance but take it very slow 
and this person is very attracted to you like there's a lot of fire this person feels towards you i see this aries are very fiery dominating not in a bad way though but i feel like with this uh, they're holding like this chess element that they're holding which is telling me that they always want to win over you so give them that ego stroke it's fine like they need an ego stroke from you from time and often you're the one who's in a very grounded stable energy and they love that the money is great and i feel like yes definitely they're going to offer you an off uh love like they are the eight of wands and ace of cups what can you imagine from this this person is high in love with you like highly in love or this person expects like you would give them a chance there will be so much love but however they will end up disappointed because i feel like you will not give them a chance however with these three rods here i do see you finding another option and you will still talk to this person but you will not give up or you know given to this uh, relationship because whatever has happened in the past you're going to still keep your heart closed or guarded you will be very guarded for a pretty long time this will burden this person because they will try hard to open you up i feel like there's a lot of sexual attraction from this person's end like there's a lot of fire they feel towards you and at the same time there's a lot of love also that's oozing out from this person's heart so yeah i feel like they're immensely attracted to you or the one for them make the effort so yeah, definitely they're going to make the effort for you and they would like if you reciprocate release your ex okay free <laughs> oh my god this is telling me clearly that the more you release this person the more they keep coming back to you yeah you have to stay detached all this while it's a hard game with this person but then this person is going to like fall in and all into you wanting you more and then obviously you have to or you will feel like you need to respond so i feel like you will be the one who will give up on this person but this person will keep coming back to you so that that's the energy that i get let's see more for scorpions work to your fear so this scorpio is you i feel like you try to release this person but there are some fears surrounding you maybe because you cannot take arrogance you cannot take dominance or you're too difficult to open up heart wise so those kind of fears if you have or discomforts that you have you need to come out of it you need to open up your heart you need to accept rather than give more you need to be on an accepting end receiving and I, i mean like there is a definite new start with you scorpions you can join my manifestation workshop which is coming so like two three manifestation workshops i'm going to come up with so in those workshops i will help you open up you know come out of those kind of fears you can also meditate to you know come out of all those fears just believe in yourself what else is required okay scorpions let us see from uh, Aries to Pisces, your person's feelings. Aries, please. Aries is having crush on you, and they want to date you. If this is initial connection, they will definitely drop a letter to you. Taurus doesn't want to talk. Maybe there is some kind of. Um, maybe they don't see them enough for you. You good enough for you. Gemini, Gemini sees you as much above their league. they feel you have options you don't want them cancer cancer wants to commit here they want something solid here they want true true friendship true love whatever it is leo's please leo wants to marry you virgo's please virgo's towards scorpio virgo wants a commitment a very very strong commitment they want to hang out with you as well libra Libra wants a strong beginning like they are very passionate about you so maybe there is a passionate new beginning happening Scorpio Scorpio wants a stable start with you they may also be expecting babies with you or thinking of and this you is a very or the nurturing person Sagittarius please Sagittarius is afraid because this you is someone who is much beyond them they feel like it's a lot of hard work to reach out to you so they've closed 
the opportunity they feel like it's difficult it's impossible because you have options capricorn capricorn is in love love with you yes aquarius Aquarius is having huge drive towards, they feel like they're very attracted to you. This person is admiring you, the way you are, you're the person that you are. Pisces. Pisces is in love with you. Yes, there is love there. Definitely. Uh, they feel sensitive towards you, strong attraction they feel towards you. So yeah, that's about it, Scorpions. I hope you enjoyed it. Do not forget to like this video. More and more likes we want. And do comment, share it, subscribe it, bell it. Until now, we take a leave from here. Take care and stay blessed. Be abundant. Bye.